Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata guys, if you have a Hyundai Sonata and you're actually losing coolant, let's say, okay, you uh, check your coolant level, it's low or even the car starts overheating because it's low on coolant, you check underneath the car, there is no leaks, no puddles of coolant and you're wondering, okay, where my coolant is going, stay with us, we'll explain top three things that cause that and uh, uh, one of those guys, you have to be extremely careful okay because it can uh, it can cause quite a bit of damage so all that will be covered in this video today now before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you now if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below guys that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here this right here guys it's a uh, 2.4 gdi engine on this generation hyundai sonata but even if you have a different one it will still work uh, pretty good guys the engine's been taken apart completely now <laughs> one thing before we continue let me tell you change your oil on time and don't use cheap oil that car spun a rod bearing from there it broke the connecting rod it destroyed the engine block and the crankshaft is done as well so that engine the only good thing on that engine for now is only the cylinder head guys that's how much damage okay not changing your oil does now before we continue let me tell you guys always use approved coolant for Hyundai okay vehicle why because we have multiple seals hoses there made to specifically be used with that coolant if you use the wrong, wrong kind of coolant you can actually start guys okay those hoses may get soft they can start falling apart you can develop leaks you can plug up heater cores your heater may quit working you may cause damage to the radiator the cooling system and you don't want that to happen but let's talk about the coolant now how you may be losing coolant this is your engine block on the engine block right here you will have a cylinder head gasket guys installed between the engine block okay and the cylinder head because coolant will flow in the engine block the cylinder head as well oil will drip from the top of the engine all the way will come back to the open through the engine block and the purpose of the gasket is to make sure that the compression stays okay in the cylinder coolant doesn't mix with oil oil doesn't leak outside the engine and practically coolant okay compression doesn't go to the coolant the passages or coolant doesn't go to the to the cylinders if you're uh, losing coolant guys okay check to make sure okay that you don't have any leaks if you don't have leaks you may notice that uh, especially okay starting the vehicle you may notice white smoke coming out of the exhaust or if the vehicle warms up uh, uh, really good and you start it let it idle and then you rev it up a little bit if you notice white smoke and it has Swedish taste uh, it's very likely you're burning coolant how that can happen one of them bad head gasket blown head gasket the coolant will be will be injected practically in the cylinders it will leak in the cylinders from there it will burn through the exhaust and it can even cause damage to the catalytic converters in some uh, in some scenarios and that can cost you even more more money guys so bad head gasket number two it could be cracked engine block guys now if it's a bad head gasket fix it on time because if you don't you may end up okay uh, needing the whole engine rebuild if you overheat it so don't overheat your engine because if you do okay that can be catastrophic and you may need quite more work uh, to fix it cracked engine block will have almost the same symptoms coolant can leak in the cylinders or cracked cylinder head can cause that as well so hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that thank you for watching and see you next time